Sure. Hey, Marco, good to uh, virtually meet you. I uh, hope to see you around the practice pitch. Um, I guess just start with, you know, your excitement for this year and kind of the the project as, as you have been told kind of the vision that the club organizationally has for you and the rest of your teammates on crew two. Um, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, it's just an unbelievable opportunity for not just myself, but every single one of my teammates and the coaching staff, uh, the Columbus organization gave us such a great platform to, to, you know, to come in here and really give us everything we need to, to um, develop ourselves and reach our potential. Um, and I believe that that's what really we're all here to do, you know, and uh, let's not lie. There's a championship at hand to be won as well. And it's the first one ever. So um, that's what we try and do as well. Great. Thanks, Jacob. We'll go to Patrick Murphy, Massive Report. Hey, thanks for doing this with us. Uh, just the excitement of being the, the first Crew 2 captain. We just got word of that. Um, that's that's got to be an honor, I imagine, for you and you know probably your teammates as well. What, what's that like when you were named captain? Maybe how did how did you find out? We found out this morning. Uh, coach got us all together. Um, I mean, lost for words is an understatement. Uh, I I really try and kind of tell myself that I don't deserve to be here. Every single day, I walk into this unbelievable facility and this unbelievable training ground, and I've got a staff that's doing anything and everything to develop me as a person and as a player. And so every day I try not to take it for granted and then to get this honor added onto that. Um, yeah, it, 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 it took a second for me to kind of wrap my head around, but uh, it certainly won't change my mindset. I still fully believe that not only do I not deserve to be here, but I don't deserve to be the captain of this uh, amazing group of lads. Thanks Patrick, we'll go to Thomas Costello. Uh, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you, uh, at least virtually. Uh, talk about the team coming together. You have a professional experience playing, and there are a lot of players now on the team that are coming either right out of college or academy and don't have that same sort of experience. How um, And now as the, the captain, how have you been imparting your kind of wisdom? Because Corey and Laurent have both stressed about growing people off the field too. It's not just about wins and losses. How has your development of your teammates kind of developed over your time with the team now? Yeah, it's, it's a really cool opportunity because I actually thought I was quite young until I got here. <laughs> um, and now I've got people that look up to me. And so that's, again, humbling. But um, the past three years have taught me a lot. Uh, they teach you how to manage your emotions, manage your body throughout a long season. And many of these lads haven't had you know, a full six, seven, eight, whatever, nine month season. Um, and it's kind of really refreshing for me to, to see how hungry some of the boys are. And, but it's also, you can understand that at, that, at their age, uh, they sometimes fail to see the bigger picture. And that's where I guess myself and other uh, experienced lads in the locker room step in and we can put an arm around them and just try and put things into a bigger perspective. Um, I guess that's really a duty, not just for myself, but for anyone who's played professionally in the past to uh, help facilitate that transaction um, for, for the younger lads who have come in. You know, it's a long season. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs and um, there's going to be weeks where it's all amazing. And then next thing you know, you're a bit down in the slump um, and it's just trying to keep balanced. You know, don't let the highs be high and lows be low. Just stay in the medium. Um, and that's kind of the message that I try and transmit to, to the rest of the locker room anytime I can. Thanks. I'm going to go Patrick Tyler, then Preston. Marco, I'm just curious from, from your perspective, when you sign with this team, obviously it's, it's a reserve team with the idea to move players potentially up to the first team. What exactly are you looking to accomplish with this group, you mentioned there's a championship on the line, but I imagine you have ambitions individually beyond that. And then also what it's been like, you mentioned the facilities, just walking around, seeing some of the, the first team players, first team coaches, that kind of thing since you've been there. Yeah, so the first part of it, um, I think we're all in the same boat and we're all pushing each other and coaches pushing us and the staff are pushing us every single day that at the end of the year, uh, we can hopefully provide multiple options for, for the first team staff to take a look and see if we've managed to create 
one or two first team players, be it myself or someone else, then I guess we've done our job, you know. Um, and the second part, I mean, I've alluded to the facilities here already. Um, I, I absolutely loved my previous club, Tormenta, but um, it just couldn't really compete. Uh, and I don't think anyone in the nation can compete with what we've got here. We're so blessed to have this, this brand new infrastructure with, you know, when it's cold, they put a massive dome over our head to go and train in. And the grass is amazing in the gym and we've got iPads in the gym that I don't really know what they do, but there's just, it's just so many amazing things. Um, and you know, the, the, the club is such a historic club. Um, and I don't think that is taken lightly by anybody. It means something to wear this crest. Um, and we wear it every single day when we come in in the morning and we put it on for training. Um, and again, that's part of the growth that maybe some younger lads will have to do and myself, especially, you know, uh, just always remember just what, what, what an honor it is to, to be training here and to be in this facility and, uh, I guess act accordingly and, um, you know, we're, we're getting it right and we'll get better and better at it. Super. We'll go to Tyler, then Preston. So since you have been training together for a while, how is the chemistry coming along with you and your fellow players? And then where do you see yourselves given the chemistry, I'll say a few months from now? Um, I mean, the first thing that I realized, I think, is that Corey and Coach did an amazing job at recruiting the players that were needed to be able to work together. Uh, you know, the moment you bring in players that kind of understand or interpret the game the same way, it makes it really easy to also be able to relate a little bit off the field. You know, um, I think on the field, we have so many talented players who love the ball. Uh, um, and, you know, every now and then in training, you see those those plays and those moments of just pure brilliance, uh, which you just kind of, you're just glad to be able to see it. Um, going forward, we're not setting, or personally, I don't think it's fair to set any limits to what this team can accomplish. We've got a clear idea of where we want to be and what we want our identity to be. And we hope to be able to uh, show everybody who we are as of Saturday night in, in down in Florida. But, um, you know, every single game, every single day, we look to um, just work towards the thing to, to create our identity better and better and tighter. And um, off the field as well, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting one because you've got someone like myself who's, you know, getting married at the end of the year. And then um, I've got Caleb who's 16. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's one of them, you know, but it's, it's, you, it's important to find the things that you can relate um, and it's important to actually just spend together and have a chat and try and understand who each other are as a person because it often can help you um, relay information on the field as well um, you know tonight we'll get together with the boys and we'll have a, a nice little dinner together um, and it's just those little occasions that we can get to know each other off the field and outside this beautiful facility that I think will actually carry us a long way um, when it comes to our growth on the field as well. Super, and we'll go to Preston for the final question. Hey, Marco, just wanted to ask, have you had the chance to explore Columbus yet? And if so, what have you thought about the city to this point? Yeah, fortunately, it stopped snowing. So I was able to get out of the house. <laughs> But um, no, as of especially the last couple of weeks, to be honest, I've uh, dabbled myself in that short north and the north markets. Um, and it's it's positively impressed me. I just never expected it. Um, I love it. I love I, I love the colors. I love the murals. I love the selection of food. Um, you know, we try and me and my fiance make an effort to try and find a new a new spot every time we can. Um, but, but no, so far, so good. It's, it's a really cool little spot, actually. I'm really enjoying it. And personally, I come from uh, the south of Georgia, um, where there wasn't many buildings, um, you know, for say, and it's developing. So, but, um, so this was a nice change of speed to have so many different options. And um, it's cool. It's a really cool place. It's, it's, a, it's an added benefit, you know. Thank you. Thank you, guys.